Have body, my people. Have body, my people. Oh, when you watch Lion King and you hear Hakuna Matata, wow. what a wonderful <laughs> phrase. And you are walking along the beach and you see young people somersaulting and they do it for you and give you that positive vibe. You're like, one now understand Hakuna Matata. Eh, you are saying, Obon Salo, where have you gone again? Where did this girl go to? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Wow. It's a cause for celebration. That, you, 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 no. you know, People are like, why are you okay. spending so much time in the haven of peace? I said, because I'm I'm looking for peace. I'm looking Woo! for peace. I want peace. <laughs> you know, sometimes Thank you just you. want peace. I'm not your, oh my God, I have to see 20 sides, nice. shoot pictures and run away. No, 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 no. And I've always been like a big city girl. You nice, know? nice, nice. Like I nice. just want to be. And I just be some peace. Fashion. Do the stuff that Thank I like. Thank you very much. Like running. <laughs> so second run done. Uh, I managed to do seven kilometers throughout, um, I mean without a break. Uh, I still have the seven kilometers back to go home. So if I find the strength, I might run another three. So I have ten. But I'm going to show you Tora Drive, which is the perfect connection with UN Road um, for the run. So literally if I wanted, I could do a 20k because you can run this road till God knows where. Uh, last time when I did the 10k it was just straight on so no return but I don't want to get there today I want to look at Cocoa Beach so I'm gonna walk back all the way to where Cocoa Beach is and then um, look at the beach and then put this away I do want to show you the road but I'm always kind of like conscious of people uh, but most times the road is like empty so I'm gonna take that red hand of it being empty right now and show you behind me that's Tori Drive and I'm going back the way I came so let's do it Barry my people I am in the haven of peace and if you still don't know where it is well I'm going to let you google it yesterday was election day here I'm going to turn around so you see where I am isn't that absolutely beautiful it was election day um, here yesterday and um, a few things I noticed was like the network was a bit down you couldn't send SMS uh, um, Twitter wasn't going quite well what's up and all of that but otherwise I didn't notice any kind of uh, unsettlement things were closed I spent the whole day by the poolside because there was not a lot of things open uh, but I want to talk about something else I've realized that over the years I have perfected the personality of my travel husband boyfriend uh, depending on who's asking because funny enough I find it that people will always ask how's your family and when they ask that question mostly men they're not asking how my mother and father are or my brothers and sisters yeah they are asking the obvious so I say oh he's at home and then it's always like why didn't he come what is he doing he's working and then the conversation funnily ends there because most times they're not asking because they really care about your married life or about who you're married to they don't even ask what is his name when did you meet when did you get married no they don't want to know that they're just trying to find out if you were free so I perfected this guy he is anything I want him to be and depending on who's asking he has a different profession he's from a different country um, whenever so um, I don't know if this happens to you but uh, here in Tanzania I've literally had the drivers call me back and ask how I'm doing and I'm like hmm and then I say oh I'm fine I just told my husband about you <laughs> yes 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 the little joys of being able to tell stories and on that note let me tell you the story of Abdullahi who is running a boat company that I met on the beach this morning yeah I'm fine my name is Abdullah Abdullah yes I have a business here yeah. uh-huh uh, I have the coffee ah the tea. okay and also I organize my children to islands okay to the the beautiful island we have and we have the yeah, and you organize trips there? Yeah, yeah, organize trips. Okay. I don't take days, it's two days now. Mm -hmm. Since I read now, we're making the operation. Okay. Maybe after one week, but now it's working. Okay, so, so, um, tell me, uh, your name is? Abdullah. Abdullah, yes. and what is the name of your boat place? My, my boat place is, the boat will be here, but now it is in Sasani, the sleepway. Yeah, at it's a sleepway, okay. Yeah. But what is the name of your company? My name is Kungani. Kungani yeah. will be the name of your company. Yeah. And you're going to order, um, offer boat services? from here 
to Bongoyo, Mbuya and Singa. Mbuya and Singa. And Zanzibar as well. And Zanzibar. And how much is it going to cost? It depends. It depends what kind of boat. Because I'm still preparing. It depends. If you have the catamaran, mm -hmm. I have the speedboat, mm -hmm. and then the slow boat, and have uh, the dow. Okay, the slow boat, how many people the can go on the slow boat? boat? The slow boat, it can take uh, four people. Four it people. Fast boat. Okay. Speed boat. The speed boat. Yeah. And how much is it? It is $50 per person. $50 per person. Is it going and coming back? Yeah, going and coming back. Okay, and you leave at what time normally? Normally 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock and come back at 6. At 6, yes. Okay, so guys, this is Abdullah. He's setting Abdullah. Yes, Abdullah. Yes. Abdullah, he's setting up his boat right here. I want to turn the camera where those kids were somersaulting. He's going to offer boat services going to Zanzibar, to Bongoyo, Mboja. to Mboja. So um, feel free to hit him up. Hit him up because we want to support local business. Thank you so much. Ciao. Ciao. Okay, so we're going on the beach and I've met already a boat company, cafe. He's setting up. I want to put this live for you. And I've got in three minutes, more than three minutes. So this is Cocoa Beach. And I think it's a good place. I can run here. Um, people are worried about, of course, the safety. Um, so that's why, of course, I'm doing this in broad daylight, <laughs> where uh, the uh, possibility of getting mugged right now is very low. So you take that into consideration, you want to do something as silly as what I'm doing. And um, what I don't understand is the greenery on the beach. It's, it's, it's definitely different. But um, yeah, let's go to the end and I'll go back to uh, where I'm staying. Okay, bye. So guys, I'm getting myself some amazing street food, Timboa. And it's, um, <laughs> it's Timboa, no? Mutumboa, 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 a Mutumboa. Okay, so I'm getting some Mutumboa and it's made from rice meal. So this is gonna be my breakfast. And there is another thing next to it. This one is called, this one, name? Mukat. Bread. So this is bread, mukasi, and uh, we're gonna do this traditional street style, getting some goodness from Madam. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Jackie. Jackie. So this is Madam Jackie, and she is right opposite the sea cliff. So if you feel like having some street food, you should hit her up. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, it's a wrap. I just wanted to give you a slice of my piece of cake. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Lisa 81.